Okay, uh, this is the uh, torture allow as uh, natural woman control with your know, foot actions in games and uh, applications, especially virtual reality games. So let's check what's inside. So you have a uh, Here of a virtual device, and this is a, a control box. Um, you can connect it with uh, your uh, device, like a PC or VR device with uh, Bluetooth. So to do it, uh, use uh, you just power it up with a. Uh, Five volt power supply. So it is uh, uh, micro USB uh, port. Okay, power up. Now let's connect it to uh, a computer through the Bluetooth. Uh, it, this is on Windows 10. So use this Bluetooth device uh, connection. So it search. Okay, you see this uh, VR controller. Uh, fine. Let's connect. So now it's connect. So shows VR controller. No. So uh, now the controller is connected to the PC. You can use the USB game controller set. See here, show up at the joystick. So basically connect to your device and work as a, a general genetic uh, generic joystick function. And uh, basically this joystick for sure allow you to control this joystick's uh, input with your foot gestures. Uh, now we need to power up this uh, foot controller uh, with uh, two USB cables. So uh, this is a power bank you can use, and uh, so you can put it in your pocket as a mobile power supply. And this there's a USB C cables. Uh, and just uh, plug in here and plug in here. So now this. Controller should be able to talk to this box and transmit data to control uh, the joystick movement. So, the controller has three modes, so three operation modes. One is uh, first mode is a pure uh, joystick uh, with uh, we call the four-way movement control. And uh, uh, now it's if you press the first button, it's the first operation mode. Uh, like this, the light, there are the two lights, and uh, this light will be uh, show VR. And the second mode, if you press this, uh, the light shows air and uh, turns on, and uh, it's the support uh, uh, moon, for a moon control and uh, walk in place. So you can uh, walk in place to control, smoothly control the uh, speed of the movement. Uh, and this is, if you press this next button, is the third mode. It's a developer mode. Basically, it has a joystick control function and also give you other information uh, from the controller. So as a uh, application uh, developer, you can use all the input as needed in your games uh, from the joystick input. So okay, with the controller connected, we demonstrate the uh, different con control mode of the controller. So 
in mode one is for the basic uh, four-way movement control. So uh, keep both feet on ground and uh, move forward. Use your left, right foot to, to tilt. And uh, if you change the tilt angle, you change the movement speed. And backward, you tilt in the other way. And uh, you can control speed with your foot tilt angle. And the same way, you go left and right, to more right, use your left foot. So you can control movement uh, towards the right direction. And uh, similarly, move that. It's the basic four-way movement control. And this movement control won't be triggered if you uh, stab or turn around this one and trigger the movement. Only you, uh, when you need a movement, you can control it with the four-way movement control method doing foot gestures. Okay, that's the basic four-way movement control mode. And the uh, second one, we demonstrated the uh, Walking in place. So similarly, uh, you can use four-way movement control method to start move forward, backward, or left and right. So move forward and you start walk. If you increase the frequency, the speed will increase. So you walk slower, the speed will decrease. So it's um, very smooth. You can Accurate, accurately control the movement speed more faster or slower. So all control is your know. stop. Let's try a different direction backward. Start move. And see the first step input change. Slow down. Gradually stop. Yeah. Right direction, start walk. Slow down. Stop. Left direction, walk. That's the second mode, no, mode. And in a developer mode, just push the third button. And so you still have the four-way movement control. Try stake and walk in place. Uh, other than that, you also get all the inputs from foot shoulder input, uh, the foot tilt angles and pointing directions, uh, both foot and the touch state. So if you're a developer, you can use all this input from the joystick to control your game or program. So it's uh, very convenient. In part two of this video, will show the use of foot shoulder to control movement in VR games.